Hello everyone and good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the webinar. Today we are going to cover a topic that is moving ahead with an active PLS in busy software. That means we are going to discuss on this webinar related the features which comes under PLS that is busy license subscription. Let's have a quick look on the session objectives of today. First we'll go through the introduction point what is BLS then we'll understand the BLS advantages third we'll get to know the BLS renewal process and then at the end there will be a QA session where you can raise your questions or queries in the QA chat box and we will be happy to reply on that starting with the introduction part what is BLS so since from busy 18 version company has launched a license subscription model that has been introduced as busy license subscription with an active PLS user will get all the busy update the major and the minor update free of cost after the expiry of PLS user can get it renewed for a nominal amount if PLS is not renewed no updates will be available however user would be able to use busy forever with whatever release was available before the expiry of PLS. Apart from Busy's update, a lot of other value-added services has been provided in Busy, which will be available only in an active PLS. That means from Busy 18 onwards, company has launched a subscription mode so that uh, you can get the updations and upgradations through this PLS. So you need to, or if you update your license or you renew your license then you will be getting the benefit of using the additional features and other value-added services along with the major and minor updates of software so bls comes on yearly basis coming on the bls advantages as you know there are many specialties associated with the bls such as gsp facilities gsp means the GST Suvida providers which is needed to get an integration to generate our e-waybill and e-invoice automatically from software. BDEF services that is busy data exchange platform where you can exchange your data with your customer or supplier whoever are using busy software along with you also. Mobile app through which you can get a vast level of reportings from mobile app you can also do the transactions of sale quotation order and receipt updates and google drive related facilities where you can easily upload your data in google drive or you can take auto backup of your data in google drive or you can upload the documents in your google drive also through busy user can use these features if bls is activated if bls in the license has expired then the user is not renewing the BLS in the license so it will automatically stop and the user will not be able to use the features. To run Busy smoothly and to use this most advanced feature in business, Busy, please keep your BLS active in license and renew BLS timely. So to get the benefit of these features, you need to renew your license if you want the benefit or you if you want this usable features that you will be using while doing you or while in the business in your business or while operating the software now let's have a look on the features that is associated with bls that is busy license subscription that is the renewal point first coming on the gst features so what are the gst features that comes under bls that is gistn validation that means if you can easily validate the gistn number of your customer or your supplier and from this point you can easily track the GSTN number is valid or active or inactive whatever information you need to gather from this GSTN validation you can easily capture that so we'll also try to show you practically the options that is available in busy let me share the busy screen also so first if you want to validate the GSTN number, you can go to transaction, GST, miscellaneous utilities. From here, you can get the validate GSTN online. If you need to validate single GSTN, you will click on single GSTN. If you need to validate multiple GSTN of your supplier or customer, you can load your masters through this button and you can 
click on the select all and you can click on this validate online button to get the validation detail or to get it validated coming on the next point that is the hsn validations so for hsn validations you can see in busy we are having this option called validate hsn online that is under transaction under gst miscellaneous utilities so from here also you can validate single hsn as well as multiple hsns also so you are getting this validate online button so if you click on this load then all your items detail will apply or appear on this and if you click on the select all and you can click on this validate online to get the status of this hsn code direct upload gst tier 1 that means in busy you will be having a uh, features to directly upload your return of gst tier 1 in the portal you no need to generate json or you no need to generate any csv or government template format and do it manually so busy is providing you the facilities to auto upload your return file form so for that you can see in the display options in gst reports in gst returns you will find this gst r1 e returns a button is coming that direct upload so this is under bls if anybody's bls is expired then he or she can't use this feature automatic e way will generations like uh, in busy you will be having uh, automatic and manual method also to get the facilities of auto generation of e way will you need to be having an active bls in your system so for that if you need to generate your e way will automatically let me share the screen of busy here you can see once you go to the configuration button features and options if you click on gst vat you will be having this gst configurations so to generate your automatic e way will and e invoicing once you generate a bill you select any of the parties you select item you save it Now, if you need to generate e way bill, then you can click on this option to get generate e way bill. Let me show you once again. You select any of the party over here. You select the items. You mention the quantity. You mention the rate. You select provide the taxation details. Now here it will ask to generate your e way bill. Let's say I disable e invoice and I want to generate e way bill. So you can generate e way bill as well as e invoice simultaneously. I'm mentioning some certain vehicle number. Now, if you want to generate this e way bill, you can press yes button, and you can get this automatic button over here. If you click on this automatic button, and if you press OK, and you click on this view and generate e way bill, it will show the e way bill details, and then you click on this generate e way bill button to generate a e way bill number for this particular transaction. So all these facilities are available under PLS. So you can see that auto generation of e-way bill has taken place in this transaction. If you need to print the e-way bill, you can press yes button to print your e-way bill also. Now, automatic generation of e-invoicing is also available. So, if you are having an active BLS, then you can also generate your e-invoice. Let me show you the generation of e-invoice also. For example, I am doing an, another transaction with this selecting the party. and also if i come on the item part i select the item i mention the quantity i mention the rate i save it now if i need to generate e invoice i also mention the vehicle number and i said that i need to generate e invoice i don't need to generate e way bill for this i only need to generate e invoice and i save this so here a message is coming do you want to generate your e invoice i said yes So here, automatic button is coming. If I click on this automatic button, if I press OK button, if I click on this view and generate e invoice, then I click on generate e invoice. Then e invoice will also get generated automatically for this transaction. So this automatic generation of e, e invoice is also a part of GST R one two A two B three B download and reconciliations. So this is also features that is available from standard onwards and. If you need to get the detail of your 2A, 2B, and get the reconciliation reports, then you can have this download system from Transaction GST Miscellaneous Utilities, where you can download your JSON data in automatic mode for GST R1, 2A, 2B, and 3B as usual, and you can get the reconciliation report, where you can also get the entire detail 
So it's showing that if you need to download GHR1, 2A, 2B, 3B and download and reconciliations portions, then you can easily get this download sections over here and you can get the reconciliation report also. So to download or to auto download your 2A and 2B, you can simply mention the GHN or the GHG portal name over here. So your GHG portal username should be mentioned over here and in GHG portal you have to enable your manage API. Then simply you can auto download the JSON data directly in busy. So this auto download options, the reconciliation details is the part of or is the features available under PLS. Check party return filing status. You can also get the return filing status from busy. This is also a part of uh, busy PLS. Check electronic cash and credit ledger. So if you need to get the electronic cash and credit ledger report, you can also get it from busy. Compare sales GST1 and CB. This is also a part under BLS. This is also a feature that will be available under active BLS. And this feature will be available from the standard or from the Saffron edition. So if you want to see the return filing status detail, you can get it from transaction GST miscellaneous utilities. Check party return filing status from where you can easily check the filing frequency and the filing date. The last filing date of GST1 and 3B for your customer, your supplier and yours and for your also means for yourself also. So you can easily get the detail from here. Similar way, if you need to get the comparison report of your books, that means the sales with the GST1 and as well as with the 3B. So if you need to go through with the comparison, then you can easily get it from here. Whatever month that has been downloaded on the basis of that, it will show the comparison. So once you get it download from here, you can easily get the comparison report of sales GST1 and 3B. Other reports like electronic cash and credit ledgers all this you can get from this gst reports and returns from gst register you can get this electronic cash and credit ledgers report also coming on the another point that is the connectivity with google drive so this is also a feature available under active bls what is the advantages of using this feature it's belong from the saffron addiction or you can say it's from the standard addiction onwards user can send any report to Google worksheet directly from busy. That means once we generate the Google, uh, the Excel file or once we generate the Google sheet, we knew it doesn't need to upload it manually. So you can easily send the report to Google worksheet directly from the busy because in busy in every report, you will get an export button. So from where you can export the data in Excel PDF in Google sheet also. Also, you can import data from Google worksheet. That means if you need to import now previously what we find out or we figured out that we need we can get to import our transactions or masters from excel in busy but now onwards we can also get the import option for from google sheet also so that means if anybody has worked in the google sheet from google sheet also you can import the data in busy user can upload master image on google type we in busy we all know that in busy we are having an option to upload our images of accounts and items so you can get it uploaded in your google drive also user can upload this is generated documents like account ledgers other reports uh, as well as the invoice also if you need to upload the invoice the receipt copy the debit note copy the credit note copy that can be also possible to be get uploaded on the google drive so for that let me share the practical configuration that you can do it so if you go to administration configure features and options in the general you will find this option enable google drive link feature in busy you can enable this you can mention your gmail id let's say for example i mentioned my gmail id if you click on this authorize press yes then it's asking to give an access so if you mention, select your gmail it's showing that to give an access on the google account so busy is one uh, is asking for an access i said continue so once i get it continue it will come with this access is granted now if i come on the busy screen so here you can see google authentication has been successfully done and if you need to upload busy invoice document on google drive for that you can go to voucher series configuration where you can enable this google drive so that whenever you save the transaction Whenever you 
save it and you go to the print preview option or after saving it will ask you to do you want to upload this invoice in google drive you can press yes to get it upload in your google drive on pdf format also if you need to upload accounts items contact employees images you can also upload it in google drive you can also upload the google sheet on your google drive also so it will get it upload in the google drive under the company folder company folder means like say for example my company code is comp 0013 gstr 2a that means this this type of folder will get created in the google drive and that that folder you will get the google sheet that you have exported from busy so just to show a sample process of uploading your invoice in google drive you can go to administration configuration voucher series configurations and sales if you select the series where you need to get it enable you click on voucher configurations and here you can get this option save sales invoice on google drive you press yes you can select your specific format the invoice format on which it will get uploaded in google drive in pdf mode so you can select your invoice format okay so once you save it it will ask that after saving the transaction it's asking do you want to upload in sales invoice on google drive you said yes once you mention yes it will get uploaded in your google drive so this is also the a part of pls this feature will be available under active pls auto data backup to google drive so for that in busy also you can automatically take the backup in your google drive you can use busy agent to have this auto data backup system you install the busy agent you mention the uh, or you select the uh, data for path from where the company is running and you can select the uh, the options the local drive or the google drive you mention the select the google drive and you mention your gmail id and you can schedule your timing for auto backuping process through busy agent mobile application so mobile application is also a part of uh, or comes under active pls so whoever pls is expired whoever lies product pls license is expired they can't use mobile applications so they need to update or they need to renew their license to use their mobile application both for android and ios we are providing the mobile application so the operators can operate from mobile also can get the reports can do the transactions from mobile app also So in busy mobile app we are providing 100 plus report create and sharing quotations once you generate your transactions from mobile you can easily share the transaction through whatsapp or bluetooth any any informations that is available in the mobile app any facilities that is available in the mobile app from that you can get it access so you can get the data reports also the sale register the purchase register the receivable the payable the stock data report also from mobile app so we are also having this busy bns app system so this is also a part of active bls that means business notification service app so it's is for android and ios also so if you install this app in your phone or if you suggest your customer to install this app they can simply install this app and uh, once you generate your bill for the customer the customer will get a instant alert or a notification on this app along with the bill copy attachment so you no need to share further in mail or whatsapp to the customer because the customer is getting the instant information and customer is getting the bill format also or, or the bill copy also instantly in pdf mode so you can also use this app as a security alert in your phone whoever be modifying your data or doing any kind of addition in your data uh, alert will come that this user is going to modify or this user is going to delete your data or doing any creation in your data so this bns app and the mobile app these both are the part of bls other important features like product related update so in yearly basis we find out or we figure out that many kind of changes is going to done in the product many uh, major changes come with new features with new additional features uh, comes on the new release uh, some 
some kind of uh, rectifications are also done so this kind of updations the major and the minor updations is also a part of active bls so if anybody's bls is expired he or she can't update busy to get the or to avail these updations bdep that is the busy data exchange platform this is also come under bls so with this features you can easily exchange your data with your supplier or with your customers who also using busy that means it works from busy to busy so if you are doing a sale transaction so that transaction will be converted as your as a purchase transaction for your customer okay so this is vice versa so these features is also a part of bls you can use these features these features come on the general configuration portion audit trail as per mca guideline which effect from 1st of april 2023 so this audit trail is is also mandatory for private limited and public limited companies so bls is mandatory for indian companies to maintain the audit trail feature okay so let me show you practically where you can get this feature so once you create a company you mention your gstn number or sin number then audit trail will get enabled automatically so if i go to configuration features and options and general here you can see uh, right now it's asking because i have not mentioned any gstn number over here let me show you another data so for example if uh, you are going to create a company and you mention your gstn number on that case you will find out that in general you will get an option that compulsory audit trail is available so this enable disable option will not appear okay this option will appear that is the maintain detail audit trail so if you enable this once you enable this and once you do your transaction you can't disable this again okay so with the help of this you can get the report in detail that means if anybody is doing any changes in the in any field it may be a quantity field it may be a value field previously what happened we get the summarized report but right now in basis release 10.0 21 release 10.0 we come up audit trail with comprehensive detail as per mca guidelines you will get this from the checklist audit trail and here it will show the detail so if you go with detail of vouchers or masters you can get it over here so here it will go go it will show you the complete details that uh, who user what was the actual voucher number from which computer if you double click over here it will come with the uh, entire detail or the internal details the changes that has been done in each and every section so for example if i now as i may enable the audit trail right now this coming with the modification narration that means as per mca guidelines this we have provided this option that if anybody is enabling or if anybody has uh, doing any modification in the transaction uh, during the enable of the detail audit trail then it will ask to mention the reason why you are modifying this transaction so you you have to mention certain reason for that so uh, if i mention a reason that rectified now if i save this so it will get reflect on this detail also or the trail detail so you can mention your voucher numbers for particularly which voucher number you want to get the audit trail detail let's say for example i have mentioned 452 is my voucher number 45 so if i have done any kind of changes let's say for example what is the date 317 2018 so 452 31 7 2018 so here you can see that i have done a modification the action is showing if i double click over here it will show the complete detail what was and what changes has been done in which field okay so it will come in comprehensive detail way so previously in the previous release we get to know only in this portion or we get to know this summary only this summary report of audit trail but in release 10.0 we have provided the audit trail in detail mode so if you want to get a detail of a particular transaction so you can mention that transaction number to get the entire detail of that particular transaction you have to mention the voucher number for which you want to get the audit trail detail you can get notification of specific event like user log add modifications through the uh, this ringing app that is called business notification service app that i have explained previously 
so you can also get an alert like if anybody is uh, logging or if anybody is uh, doing any modification or any creation in your data so to enable this event notification you can go to administration configure features and options and in general you can enable this event notification option okay so along with this if you want to get the notification in your app then you have to install the business notification service app okay so you can enable this event notification from here and uh, for this you need to create your bdev id first okay so you have to enable this bdev id you have to create your bdev id through this bdev id against this bdev id you can enable your mobile app also you can enable your event notification system also so this also come under active bls now coming on the bls renewable process so we are having two kind of bls renewal process that means if our valuable customer need to renew uh, the license so you can or she can renew it after one year and if we renew for three years that means we are giving an opportunity to renew for three continuous year she no need to or he or she no need to uh, think for three years to get the updations and benefit of the features so it will extend for three years if he or she is going to renew for three years constantly at a discounting prices so if, if anybody is renewing for three years then they are going to have certain discount that is provided by company so further if you need to renew your bls or your product or busy license you can connect our authorized channel partners your nearby authorized channel partners or you can connect to a business help desk team number to get your product update or to get your license renew to have the benefit and the features that i have shown right now in this webinar so for further assistance you can connect to our help desk number also regarding this